guys, it's me back with the awful audio. Um, as you guys can probably hear. I can't really move anywhere because I have a PlayStation, so, and I have a TV, and so it, there'll be noisy everywhere, but you guys should handle it. You can, you can still hear my voice. Right now, I'm grinding to upgrade my, this another sniper that I've been trying to upgrade to see if we have a thermal scope for it, which I'm so dumb. I just thought of this while saying it out loud. I can probably look if they have a thermal scope. Oh no, it says classified. I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. That they don't show it until you're around the level, I guess. I'm not completely sure. But yeah. So, I left off with Deku waking up with Uraraka, the Soul Reaper that gave him the power of being there. You guys might be wondering why I gave her her ice ability without her Zanpakuto. And it's just because it, it could fit better into the what if because it is the My Hero universe. Oh my god, this dude's driving. Oh, what the heck? Trying to kill us? Oh, he's smart. He's so smart, man. I hate people that do that, though. Like, we, I get that you guys, like, we have four-wheelers in this game, and so it's only supposed to be a two-seater, but people be jumping onto it, and I was riding in the back, and I was getting annoyed, too, but, like, bro, that's so annoying, because you made me jump off, because I don't want to die, but, yeah. But, yeah, so, he would wake up and would be told to kill some hollows. He would do that. Nothing too special. But that's whenever they would run into Throppy during the way. With her showing off that weird wound on her leg, saying that I almost got hit by a car and all that. And it, and it hit my leg and this is what happened. Dick Deku would say, Sue, go ahead and heal that. You know you can do it, right? She would think for a moment, saying, Oh yeah, I forgot all about that. I can just rewind it. With him saying, Are you an idiot? And she would say, Sorry, sorry, I just kind of forgot about I can have that ability. It would say that you're actually an idiot, and, but it told her just to do it. She would say, Ren Tin, Tin Tong, fairy, fairy godparents come out. I totally forgot the chant for her abilities. And I'm not trying to remember that crap again. I used to remember it. I was over here actually saying these words perfectly, like, Ren Ren Tin Tin, come out. Order, something like that. She would just say order, I guess. Order reverse. That's how she calls out her ability. They would come out and wrap around her leg, reversing it. Or she would think it's still healing. So, yeah. She would say heal and all that. But because... Because I did give her wings, she can fly. And he would also be saying, why don't you just fly and stuff. She would say, you know, it's against the rules to use a cork in public. Deku would say, true, but I still do it too. It's whatever. And she would say, I'll use it, um... But I have to go to the clouds to do it, and that's tiring, don't you know? To fly into the clouds. Because it's air so thin up there that it's hard to breathe. He would say, yeah, uh, just get an oxygen tank if it's that hard. She will say, ha ha, and she would go off. With Uraraka saying that wasn't a regular scar afterwards 
because she was thinking for a moment after looking at it a little more. And she would say that's actually a hollow scar. Which I see there are hollows that do have the ability to hide themselves. I'll just say that. Just because I don't want them to know all hollows. Because I think there is actually a hollow that could disappear. I'm not completely sure. But I'll say they got onto the abilities of the Soul Reapers to disappear. One of those types of hollows where they actually know stuff from the Soul Society. But yeah. So, he would tell him that I'd get ready to go to our house and see what's happening. He would say whatever, that's creepy. I'm not using my powers to stalk people. She says this is for y'all, we're not here trying to stalk. This stuff could be actually wrong. And he says, and she would say that in a serious face. He would, because normally she wasn't serious. She was kind of just looking like she was kidding around half the time. He would say, okay. And stuff like that. Did I just no scope that person? I swear, I should record sometimes whenever I play. Because I actually pretty good at sniping. I wouldn't say I'm the best, plus I like thermoscopes more than just regular scopes because I have the beginning scope on, not the thermo one. And I only use snipers. I literally have a class on this that literally has only snipers. I'm real because there's an ability where you can get two first prior prime guns. I don't know what they're called. But, you know, the guns that she used first and all that. But, yeah, so... They would get... But, yeah, so... That night, they would go around and they would get a signal on the phone. And I'll say they also use the heroes locators. Where they have like kind of like a police radio sort of thing where they can track if there is a call for it. And we, they would go, but there's no call for it this time because one thing this soul, this hollow can't be seen by normal people. And because of this, no heroes are called. And the heroes have learned this over the years of people dying from hollow attacks while no heroes came and they shown it to the public that this is why it's happening. But yeah. So yeah. So this he would say this in this is whenever the Soul Reaper would come. Or the Reaper would. Since he actually, his quirk, quote unquote, quirk, or I guess it could be considered a quirk, but it's not at the same time. Um, since he had more practice, and actually had swordsmanship skills, and he had more muscles built up because of training, because this is a different world than his, where he was technically like the strongest human, sort of. He was pretty strong, but... Um... Since that, he would be quite a bit more stronger than normal Ichigo, or regular Ichigo, or <laughs> Ichigo from Bleach. This is like, what if Ichigo was in um, My Hero? Because if you give somebody the personality, the ability, and, you know, the life story of them, it's possibly what if they were in that. 
were in that anime, and he took that anime and put it into. But yeah, so Deku would have started battling it, and he would take his sword. But that's whenever, during the middle of a battle, um, in the battle, he would start talking, attacking Urohime, and he would take some blows with Urohime. She's not able to, s wait, she would be dead. What am I talking about? But yeah, she, I'll say she wasn't able to use her power in this in this state where she's outside your body because she can't if she pulls any any of it it would break the chain and I'll say um, Uraraka stopped her from doing that on purpose or she, they can at least try to bring her back and all that so yeah so we would be attacking and he would say, gets it on Tensho swinging down, and this would would cause enough force to cut the thing in half, or cut the mask, but it would show the brother and all that. And because of this, um, he would get everything out instead of halfway and all that. But yeah, explaining what happens. And that's where we're going to end it. So, Froppy, oh my god, it's, the ladder's right here, my dude. I'm sorry, but like, he was jumping in this random area like he was trying to get onto the ladder while he just had to go around. Oh my god. But yeah, so, this is what's gonna happen on this episode. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I might add Chad in this, but I'll say that he just hasn't got enough soul energy. I forgot. What is the name for this power? Like the energy? I'm so dumb, I swear. Sometimes. But, yeah, sorry, I thought I hid it away, but I guess I didn't. But I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye.